Praise God, hallelujah, amen, glory be to God. <clears throat> Good morning to you all, wherever you are, can we begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning? Can we begin to give him the praise? Can we begin to give him the glory? Can we begin to give him the honor? Can we begin to give him the adoration? Everybody begin to worship God Almighty, begin to give God the praise. There is somebody here this morning. The Lord said, I should let you know that that your money shall be finally paid. They will pay that your money. Everybody just open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Ragadi bokosi bahaya, ragadi bokosi bahaya, kele bokore bokosi ya, raza wati bokosi bahadiya, kara bokosi bahadiya, kaya bahara bahadiya, kala bara bahadiya, kali kara bahadiya, oya bara bahadiya, raba kala bokodiya, manda bokodi bahaya. I don't know what it is. That is your right that has to be paid in the name of Jesus. It shall be paid. It shall be paid. It shall be paid. I see something in the spirit. This morning, seven people on this prayer altar, I see visas in your hands. The Lord said to me, there are seven people, they will see themselves relocate or something abroad before the end of this year. I see it. That's what I see in the spirit. Rain down on the prayer altar. I come to speak into your life this morning. The things that God has shown the things that God is speaking, the things that God is set to do. That company will pay the money. Daddy said he will force them to pay. Because of the way you are not sleeping, the way you are not comfortable, he said they will mount pressure on those places. He said it shall be released in the name of Jesus Christ. They told you within 30 days, they will get back, they will work on it. But the Lord said within three days, the pressure will be much on them. There will be shaking in the system. I decree at the long run, at the end, your money shall be released. The money shall be released. The money shall be released. I don't know what I prophesy to receive it in Jesus' name. There is somebody on the prayer altar. A strange bed is flying for your sake. A strange bed, a strange bed, a strange bed. Whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are. Let that bed be slain this morning. Let that bed be slain this morning. Let that bed be slain this morning. I see somebody related to somebody here. The person related to you has something to do with Cameroon. The person, the person has something to do with Cameroon, 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 Cameroon. And that person has been talking about certain strange beds that have been appearing, certain strange beds that have been appearing, certain strange beds that have been showing, certain strange beds. Raski Tubaha, Kaya Kaziba Hodia, Torobo Kozia, Raga Dabokozo, Predi Bokoziba, Raziba Duba, Prezi Kediba, Prosa Tabaha. The person talk about a strange bed, Poroba Kadia, Kalibokodia. That bed, this morning, I decree, the Lord will kill that bed. The hand of the Lord, the sword of the Lord will slay that bed. I pray that bed that moved 
from Cameroon to afflict somebody in the country where the person is. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, that bed will be roasted by fire. 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 Whoever you are, tell whoever is complaining to you that that bed shall be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see somebody becoming dead, coming in, in that is deeply into witchcraft, coming against you. I don't know whoever you, that person is, but in the name of Jesus, we begin to silence every bed. Everybody begin to declare, we roast every demonic bed by fire. We roast them by fire. Demonic bed around my vicinity. That is on an errand against me and my household and my siblings. Right now, you that bed, be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. Any man or woman turning themselves into a creature of bed to come for any purpose and assignment in my life, catch fire, drop dead. I pray for everybody on the prayer altar, any bed flying for, for your sake in the night, in the day, that bed will drop, that bed will drop, that bed will drop, that bed will drop, that bed will drop. That bed will drop. There is somebody here, the bed started like one around your vicinity. You were raining one, later you are hearing many, later there are many, later there are many. In short, when you hear it, you, it the, 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 the sound of it just, just disturbs you. It just disturbs you because the voice of the bed you're hearing, there are many around the area now. They cry in a strange way. This morning, I decree the release of fire from today. You will not see them anymore. They will go elsewhere because the fire of God is coming past through your neighborhood right now. Those beds, you will hear them again. They are gone. 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 If they come, they will be roasted to death. Fire will shoot them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say again, they will pay that money. The Lord said to me, there are seven people on the prayer altar this morning. He said they are holding their money in a very strange place. But this morning, I command the hand holding what is yours, holding your money. I command the hand to release it now. 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 Receive your money. 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 You made a decision that when money, a particular money come, you were going to finish your house. You were going to finish your house. You were going to finish your house. There have been strange kind of attack on that, that particular source for a long period of time now. But right now, as I speak to you, I command whatever is behind it, let it be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God remove that major obstacle. Let whatever is happening be arrested by fire. I, I command your money be released by fire, by power, by fire, by power, by fire, by power, by fire, by power, in the name of Jesus Christ. I heard this song, which you sing it. This have a God will never fail. You woke up from your sleep with a song like this in your mouth. Raise your hand. I serve a God who never fail. The song talk about the faithfulness of God. About three nights ago, you woke up with that song. I serve a God. When you slept, you slept bitter. You slept pain. You slept with several kind of things going through your mind. But when you woke up, I serve a God who never fail. You couldn't remember everything that happened in your dream, but you woke up with a song. Please, wherever that person is, raise your hand. Let me prophesy into your life. Who oh, never fail? Who oh, never fail? And you discover since that time, your dreams. Your dreams. When you wake up in the morning, you have always been joyful. Glory be to God Almighty. I serve a God who never fail. Everybody sing it wherever you are there. We serve a God, specialize it, who never fail. Say it. I serve a God. Who never fail? Who never fail? Oh, Jesus never fail. Oh, forevermore. Damilola, can I talk to you? Yes, oh, sir. Come on. What are you doing? Talk to me. Yes, um, that was two nights ago, apparently. I don't know. I woke up. That was on Sunday morning. 
And mm. that was the song that came to mind. And when I was even, I didn't even know that I was subconscious. I was awake. I was doing stuff. But I didn't pay attention to the song I was singing. It was later I don't know me that, uh, why am I singing? I have a God who never paid, failed. Then I started singing it. And I just let, because I was actually not happy that day, that morning. I woke up, I was not happy. I don't know why. But that was the song in my mouth. And mm. that was it. Father, I'm praying for Damilola this day. You spoke that King of Glory, this song we just sang. You said that was a song you praise and sang. The Lord says, I should tell you that there are some giants that is fighting around your life. They are fighting your destiny. The forces fighting you, they are in giant form. And that's where they are projecting get you discouraged, get you to quit. The Lord says, I should tell you, anything you find yourself doing, don't quit. Anything you find yourself in, don't get discouraged. There are certain giants, their intention, get her stopped, get her discouraged, get her down in everything, weigh her down, get her everything. The Lord says, I should tell you that you should not be discouraged in anything. Today I decree, I decree, mm -hmm. I decree, I decree every giant spirit that is assigned against your destiny, Mm -hmm. They shall go down. And mm -hmm. Within the next three to five months, you will see the faithfulness of God. Glory. Amen. The Lord spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. Within February last year, you wrote some things to him that by February this year, you don't want to be in this country again. You will have been in a different country. And by the time it gets to six months after, you'll have had all your, all your document, all your business. You don't know how it will be, but you said it will be very fast like that. I saw that. Are you getting it? No. Yes, sir. But the Lord said to me, I should let you know this morning, I am the one that extended it. There are so many things that God does and he allows. When we are fighting battles and he knows that if we step into the spotlight with what is fighting us, we might not last. So God allow us. He allow time to pass. He allows us to handle things. God is the one extending certain things in your life, not the enemy. For God said to me, in the next three to five months, you will see the faithfulness of God. God bless you. It is Amen. God. Amen. Now, Amen. I am, God bless you. When a prophecy, people listen to me, is coming to one, sometimes it is coming to all. Sometimes God uses one person to be talking to some people. It is just the way God does. God has, is speaking to certain people this morning. Everybody let's sing this song seven times. Daddy said I should tell us that we will all see the faithfulness of God. Listen to me. I don't know what you're going through. He look as if the challenge is this. He said, can, God, can this be done? Can that be done? Can we be done? Lord said, all of us, every one of us, we shall see the faithfulness of God. In your home now, wherever you are now, sing that song seven times. Sing it seven times. Just one stanza of it, seven times. Once it's complete seven, something is activated in your atmosphere. Once it's complete seven, I'm seeing some people singing it and they are crying. That look over That is how you will see his faithfulness. That is how you will see his faithfulness. That is how you will see his faithfulness. We serve a God who never fail. We serve a God who never fail. Hey, we serve a God who never fail? Jesus never failed. Jesus never fail. Oh, forevermore. I have a, I have a God who never fail. Make sure you sing it seven times wherever you are. I have a God who never fail. Oh, yes. I have a God who never fail. Who never fell, who never fell forevermore. I serve a God who never fell. I serve a God 
Me never fell I serve God who never fell who never fell who never fell forever Lord I serve God who never fell sing it I serve God who never fell I serve God who never fell who never fell who never fell forevermore I hear him say, finally, they will release it. I hear him say to somebody, finally, you will come out clean. I hear him say to somebody, the mad report, the bad envelope you received before, you will receive a new report. The Lord said there are three persons this morning. He said, delay is broken. 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 Oh, I heard him say, the good news, somebody has been believing God for. He said, it will land your space spiritually today. It will land your space. It will deliver to you today in the spirit. Today you receive it. Today you receive it. Today you receive it. Today you receive it. Thank you, Father. Let me pray for Sophie. Sophie, let me speak to you. A, a word about you just hits my spirit right now. Sophie, let me talk to you quickly. People of God, let me tell you something. When you are discouraged, when you don't even know what to pray again, you don't even know what to do, you just don't know what to do, switch into song. A song that talks about the faithfulness of God. A song that exalts him above every other thing. Where they tied somebody's child, where they tied somebody's child, they will release your child for you today. Spiritually, there is a battle over your child. That child, the battle shall be over. They will release that child. And there is somebody, where they tied your money, they will release that money. Glory be to God. Sophie, if you're there, or move, come up. Raise your hand up quickly. Let me talk to you very quickly. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost yes, right now. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Sophie, how are you? I'm good and you, my Lord. I saw you. God bless you. I saw you woke up with something that came up in your heart. Lord, yes. I want to fire. I want to know you more. That was what yes. came up yes, man of when you woke up this morning. Get to yes, man of in spite of whatever challenge you're going through. Daddy said, yes. I should tell you this morning, set yourself apart for me. He said, yes, man of God. This season, he said, I will appear to you. Go to oh, I receive. Listen yes, to man of God. Yes. When you were very young, you were yes, man. an aura of God on your life. There's something yes, about man. God. Even in the church, they give you microphone to at the head of to do things. People thought you are going to be used by God. You're going to go far, right? But when you were small, there was this. Yes, man. Listen to me very well. There's something on you you just don't understand. But this week, God is going to show Himself to you as you set yourself apart for Him. Your prayer has been okay. heard. God said, "I'm going to show myself to you." And that is said, I should mm -hmm. tell you, it is, it said, when he has appeared to you, when he showed himself in your life, when you hung up by him, he said, then you will see all the problem around you solved. The problem around you will not just be solved by I him. See. Just know him. I just see. God, all I want is you. Lord, I want you to show yourself to me. Lord, I hung up by you. God will yes. fix every problem around you. I Amen. pray for you that this week, 
the week, according to God's word, he will reveal himself to you. Your fire Amen. will increase. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Rezo Bakadia. Everybody, I want us to pray this morning. I want us to make this declaration this morning. There's a word I received in the place of prayer about this morning prayer. The Lord said to me, he said, look, I should pray it. He said, he said, I should pray it. And the anointing oil we're going to anoint ourselves with, it's an anointing for recovery. He said, I will restore the years. I will restore the years. It's not just ordinary words we read all the time. It is something that is about to happen for some people. This is a word from the Lord to some people. He said, I will restore the years that the canker worm, the cup Farmer one, the caterpillar has eaten. I will restore the years. Everybody begin to pray this morning. The Lord said to me, I want to, he said, I want to restore the things that the enemy has taken in our lives. I want to restore the things that were stolen from you. I want to restore the things that you were you have lost. You will see them restored. Everybody begin to pray. Say, my God, let the restoration process begin in my life this morning. You have spoken that you want to restore. Let the restoration process begin in my life. All the years I have lost. Some people lost a child of five years. Some lost glorious destiny of six years. Some people, some people, the years that they will have that they put into a thing that will have brought great harvest to their life. That thing was wasted. I don't know the years. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what you have lost. By the word of the Lord this morning, I decree, receive back your restoration. I don't know what you lost. I don't know what you lost. But God said, I will restore. Only God can restore. Only God can restore. Can bring back something of 20 years back. Something of 15 years back. Something of 30 years back. Something of 35 years back. Something you have that the enemy thought they destroyed, that everybody thinks it's all over for you. Something you had that doctor felt there's nothing that could be done because this is gone. God said, I can restore. He was, is your maker, is your creator. And today, God is restoring. God is restoring. Whatever you have lost that caused you pain, that caused you tears, that caused backwardness, that brought you progression, that brought you to where you are now. This morning, I pray. Today, receive your restoration in Jesus' name. Receive your restoration in Jesus' name. Receive your restoration in Jesus' name. I see a restoration fire burning on the altar this morning. Somebody is receiving instant solution, instant solution, instant solution, instant solution, instant solution, instant solution. And Rosikata, Kalibrahudi, Raska, Jude, Kataba, Kayaba, Rada. Everyone begin to command restoration in your space. I receive my restoration. I receive my restoration. I receive restoration of all things. Restoration of all things. Restoration in every area of my life. Begin to decree that over yourself now. Begin to receive your restoration. We declare whatever has been taken by witchcraft, whatever has been swallowed by witchcraft, by all kind of wicked activity. Today we declare restoration, 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 restoration. 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 Receive your restoration in Jesus' name. All the years that have been eaten off, all the years that you have wasted, all the years that you were denied of, all the years, the years of your export, the years of your rising, the years of your fruitfulness, the years that you were supposed to have settled and married, married and got your children, the years you are supposed to have become a millionaire, built your houses, the years you were supposed to have been settled, the years you are supposed to have rise, the years you are supposed to have been established that the enemy took away from you. This morning I pray, restoration. The years of your affliction, the years you were supposed to be in rest and you were afflicted, today we declare, let your years be restored. Let your years be restored. Let your years of settlement be restored. Let your years of establishment be restored. Let your years of rest be restored. Let your years of rising be restored. Let your years of joy and happiness be restored now in the name of Jesus. Those opportunities that the enemy waved away, that the enemy shook off, that the enemy took away from you, that will have made you 
to enter into the place God has designed for you, that will have made you to enter your destiny, that will have made you to arrive on time. That opportunity will command restoration now in the name of Jesus. Let God, Baruch Katebaha, the maker of heavens and the earth, the creator of your let him begin to bring restoration. Let him begin to bring about 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 restoration. There is somebody here this morning. The Lord said, the debt you are owing, I have paid it for you. Yes, there's somebody I'm hearing something that looks like they said they will come and seize that house. They will come. And, there's something about they will chase you out of the house. There's something about you have to leave the house. I don't know what is the problem. I don't know what is who. I don't know what it is. But the Lord said it, it is cancelled. The Lord said he has reversed that situation. The Lord said he has reversed that condition. Whatever it is, God has addressed it now. Whatever it is, God has addressed it now. The Lord said to tell you, wait on me for three days. Three days fast. He said something major is coming. Something major is coming. Something major is coming. He said people who have made a very big threat that they are coming to do this, they are coming to do that, all of a sudden, they will stop. That is the first miracle. God said, wait on me for three days. Wait on me for three days. Wait on me for three days. He said, major, major things are coming. Everybody will begin to declare. For 21 persons that can shout a loud amen, that can shout hallelujah, there are major, major things that are coming for you. 21 people. Receive major happenings. Receive major things. Major, 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 major breakthroughs. Major breakthroughs. Major testimonies. Major harvest. Major release. Receive it in Jesus' name. Gondele Masataya. Gele Bahora Bahaya. Tarabakodibakadia. If you have your anointing oil, take the oil now. Let us use the oil and invoke the anointing from above and invoke the anointing that is present, and invoke the anointing for the hour. The anointing for the hour is an anointing that is meant to bring about recovery of all things, recovery of all things. Open your hand, put the feet of the oil, and begin to pray. Oh God, release upon me this morning the anointing to recover all, the anointing to recover all, the anointing to recover all. You will see miracle you did not expect. You will see answer prayer you thought it was not part of the prayer point. You will see events that you thought were not going to happen again. This is a major happening in your life. Open your mouth and begin to speak into that oil. This oil shall be the anointing to recover her. I ask, oh God, release upon my hands, release upon me the anointing to recover her, to recover her. If, I, if you have lost your joy, if you have lost your peace, if you have lost your happiness, if you've lost your home, if you've lost anything, this morning uh, there is an anointing from the Lord to recover her is released into that hand. If you don't have oil, if it is water, put a bit of the water, let the anointing to recover all the rascal be released, receive, receive, be impacted, be impacted, be released now. I feel fire on the altar. Riziko Peres Ketusida, Elege de Bokozi Bahadia, Ruse Ketimo Kozi Bahaya, Rabakutu Barabaka de Bokozia, Ashiko to Barabakadia, O Paracasica de Bokozia, Agada Bakutukada. I declare upon every hands, let the anointing to recover all be released. Enter Rigadia, Poroba, put your right hand on your head, put that oil on your head, put that oil on your head with your right hand, Porosi Kadaba. There's fresh fire coming on somebody now. Somebody is blowing in tongue. I saw somebody in the spirit. You just went down that the anointing. The moment you put the oil on yourself, there are signs showing forth on the prayer altar this morning. Recovery of all things. Recovery of all things. I don't know what you have lost. People of God, there's a recovery anointing. There's a recovery anointing. There's a recovery anointing. There's a recovery anointing. If you have lost a gift, the anointing is recovering it now. If you have lost a person, if you've lost an helper, there's a recovery. I don't know what you've lost. The Holy Ghost, no. Let there be recovery for every participant. 
both the one that is listening now and the one that will listen to this meeting after, I decree the anointing of recovery, of recovery, of recovery, of recovery, of recovery, of recovery, of recovery. Receive. Let there be recovery right now. Let there be recovery right now. Let there be recovery right now. Let there be recoveries 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 right now. I have I, I saw a hand throw a paper. The Lord said, the I have reversed bad cases. I have reversed bad issues. I have reversed bad things. God has reversed certain things this morning. It will not be here. It shall be no more. If you can leave the prayer altar this morning with rejoicing and praising God, anything that is negative, whether it is weighing you down, that is negative, the Lord said it is handled. Morocco Sibakadia. Eliko Parabahaya, Carabaco de Bagaria, Carabaco de Bagaria, Cayabaca de Bagaria, Calibaco de Bagaria. There is a money lock somewhere. About five persons who have decided that that money will not be released. But this money, by force, by the force of heaven, I see that money being pushed out. I see that money being released by the power of the Holy Ghost. I see that money being forced out. Barobaco de Bagaria. Anyone on the prayer altar expecting money. If this is your situation, that money is released now in the name of Jesus. I see a family, they want to buy a house, but their money is not up to. And I don't know whatever they are processing for. But the Lord said to me, I should tell you that I will open doors. I will make a way for that thing to be done in the name of Jesus. There is somebody here. I see a health problem. When that thing comes upon that person, it makes that person forget. I don't know whatever that thing is. When it comes like this, there are certain things that happen to that person. For year me this day, Baroko to Baraba Kazia, Aleko Robaka de Bacosia, Shande Ribacosi Bacadia, Raba Husi Bacadia, La Padi Bacadia, Kayeka de Boko de Bacadia, Raka de Boko de Bacadia, and Roboko de Bacada. They use a creature to do that thing against you. But this morning, as I pray, as I pray, I command that straight creature out of your body. Kayaba Horia, O Robogadia, Kadabaha, because I see something about where they rear chicken. You have this thing before. You used to rear a particular kind of chicken. I don't know what, what, whatever it is. There was something that they used to enter you through where they rear chicken, through where they rear chicken. And that thing is, this, is, is a spiritual attack of whatever is causing that health this thing. But this morning, I see some strange thing going out of somebody. And I see that health problem ended this morning. I see that health problem ended this morning. I see that health problem ended this morning. Be healed. Be delivered from that oppression. 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 There are several people on this altar. I'm, I'm so happy with this prophecy. He said they will be ambassador of many different countries. I saw many visas, many opening access to different countries have been released for people now. There are many of you. It's just released. It's released. It's released. It's released. It's released. It's released. The resistance over certain things that belong to people this morning. The Lord is breaking that resistance 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 this morning. It's broken. I don't know who you are. I want to pray for you. Your daughter, one of the major complaints she always complains, is either her head or her stomach. Her head or her stomach. She complains this thing frequently. If you're that person, raise your hand. She complains this thing frequently. If you're that person, raise your hand. She complains this thing frequently. If you're that person, raise your hand. I pray for that, your child. I pray for that, your child. Every 
Kodwa. Um, um, yourself, Eunice. Hey, Reba, what's here? Hey, Libra, what's here? Hey, Libra, what's here? Oh. How are you doing? Hey, Libra, what's here? I'm good, thanks. Good morning, sir. Talk to me, please. Don't go behind. Talk to me. Hey, Reba, yeah, my, my daughter always complains. If it's not head, it's the stomach. If it's not head, it's the stomach. I'm seeing a child that looks very intelligent. The child has said, oh, this child is very intelligent. What do you see? I'm okay. Do you is your child with you there? Take the oil in your hands and lay on that child. Father, I command whatever is the activity of the wicked one. And the child to be over now. Amen. Amen. Whether it's from school, from home. From wherever the grace is over. Lay their hands of the anointing upon that tide. I just I, the issue is settled in spirit. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. 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 Ola, let me quickly pray for your child also. Go to Good Baraba. morning. How are you doing, please? Fine, mm. sir. Mm. 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 My daughter, she sometimes have that complaint. Sometimes she'll tell you it's I heard this pain now. Sometimes she said, my tummy is paining me. My tummy is paining me. Father, I'm praying that from today it shall be no more. If Amen. there's any kind of connection to whatever she's going through, I decree it's over this morning. Let Amen. Let the oil and anoint her head and anoint her stomach. And the word that been said is carried out so in Jesus' name. I declare spirituality connecting to this is totally broken in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Oh, Barabbas. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Now, we're going to pray, people of God, we're going to pray one more prayer point before we take our communion this morning. Before we take our communion this morning. Now, if you have a testimony, testimony you want to share, just raise your hand while we're praying this prayer so that the moment we finish praying this prayer and we're going to hear your testimony and we're going to take our communion. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you glory. The Lord said to me that there are certain people that their testimonies that has begun, the Lord said, I will complete it this week. The Lord will bring a completion to some testimonies this week. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Spirit of the Lord should tell some people there. He said, he said, I will remove the major obstacle on their path before the week. I will remove the major obstacle on their path before this week ends. I will remove the major obstacle on their path before this week ends. There are certain people the prayer altar this morning. The Lord is giving them supernatural speed on their feet. The Lord is giving them supernatural speed on their feet. They are going to experience supernatural speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to pray. We're going to pray this prayer. We're going to pray this prayer. I will continue tomorrow. We're going to pray this prayer. The father of Isaac said, the father of Jacob, sorry, the father of Jacob, which is Isaac, he said to him, he said that what? He said to Esau, he said, I have made him a master over you. The question is, is how can somebody just use words and decide that? I want you to see the power of words. He said, I have made him a master over you. You will be a slave to him. You will serve your brother. He said, but if you too will be restless and have dominion, if you will not keep quiet, he said, you will break his yoke of your neck. I want you to understand the power of words. There are certain people that they've decided a negative fate on by the use of utterances. I want you to begin to pray. The Bible said that Every tongue that rises against you and I shall be in judgment, shall be condemned. I want you to begin to judge every utterance, every mouth, every tongue, every utterance that has been made over your destiny, that has been made negatively over your destiny, that has brought affliction, that has brought retrogression, that has brought pain. I want you to bring every utterance under judgment this morning. Pray that prayer. Every mouth. That has spoken affliction, that has spoken all matters of bitterness, battles in my life. 
I bring those words on that judgment. I bring that tongue on that judgment. I want you to pray this prayer. Every yoke of any man or woman on my life, let that yoke be broken. He said you will break his yoke off your neck. You will break his yoke. Open your mouth and pray. Every yoke of any man, any woman, any auntie, any uncle, any boy, any girl, any yoke that have been placed on my neck by any persons, open your mouth and pray. This morning, I break that yoke off my neck. I break that yoke off my life. I break that yoke off my business. Every yoke that will be placed on me by any persons, by the power in the name of Jesus, I break that yoke this morning. 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 Now let me pray for you. I pray for everybody on the prayer altar. Any yoke placed on you by name. Any faith that was decided for you by the utterances of any persons anywhere. I decree today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We silence those tongues in judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative utterances that has been working negatively in your life, this morning I stop it. This morning I judge it. This morning we condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree every yoke placed on you by any man, by any woman, yoke in any aspect of your life, let that yoke be destroyed. Let that yoke be broken. Let that yoke be broken. Anything you are going through that is as a result of a yoke, a person put on your life. I come in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. Let that yoke be destroyed. Let that yoke be destroyed. Let that yoke be destroyed. I just see a home. I see tense situation. I see it removed right now. I see the tense situation gone off in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is somebody I see. The hand is twisting. I don't know what is going on on the hand. But you know there is a condition. I don't know whatever is going on on that hand. But this morning, let that situation right now, let the Lord heal you. Let that condition be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that condition be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that condition be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that condition be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that condition be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your hand to be released. In Jesus' name, we pray. Anyone that wants to experience supernatural speed, anoint your feet now and declare anything holding me from moving with speed is broken this morning by the anointed. My feet uh, will begin to experience speed uh, in everything I pursue. I will begin to experience speed uh, in everything I'm expecting. I'll begin to experience speed. That will be your portion as you have done it. That will be your portion as you have done it. That will be your portion as you have done it. If you have lost everything, they will call you back. That that is the straw. That that is not the recover. You will see the recovery power of God work in your life. Anyone under you that was placed by an uncle, that was placed by an auntie, that was placed by a parent, that was placed by anyone, today I decree by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by that power, that made this world and everything in it, that power, that, that creative power of God, I decree this morning. Every yoke of the wicked one is destroyed. Be free. Be released from that yoke. I don't know who you are. How can you see yourself carrying like a load on your head? And you are carrying like a child on your back. This thing does not look like you. You saw yourself in strange place. You don't understand. Right now, be delivered from bondage. Whoever that person is, let that yoke of that bondage be broken from you. You are here on the prayer altar. You don't even know what to do. You don't know the way forward. You don't know whatever. The Lord said, I should tell you, praise me. Praise me. That is God talking to you. He said, I will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. Everybody bring out your communion. Let's pray over our communion. 
everything you have desired, that you want to see God show forth, the things you want to see answers over, I want you to begin to demand it as you are about to take the communion, as you are about to take the communion, begin to place a demand that these are the answers I want. 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 Begin to make that demand. Begin to pray that prayer. As I take the communion this morning, these answers will begin to show up. 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 Everyone who has a court case, we pray over that court case that we shall hear testimony by mercy. Over that court case, as the Lord has reversed every negative thing, we declare that every negative declaration is reversed. We declare mercy will prevail. We decree over everyone on the prayer altar. That is expecting good news. As you take the communion this morning, you will receive good news. You will receive good news. You will receive good news. We will, will receive good news. A new chapter shall be opened. Testimonies shall be released. Everyone's faith shall be honored. God will not let your faith down. Whatever you have put a demand of by faith, that you have said, This is what I want to see. Your faith will deliver. Your faith shall be honored. Your faith shall not fail you. It is settled. In Jesus' anointed name, we have prayed. Amen. If you believe it, shout another amen. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me take your communion. Take your communion. Take your communion. Take your communion. Whatever you have demanded, the answer is released. The answer is released. The answer is released. The answer is released. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody here. You are just crying as you have taken. I don't know whether you are already taking your communion, but I see you crying because you heard a voice that is telling you so strongly that the Lord said he has done it. That the Lord said he has done it. That the Lord said he has done it. Oh, Robo Kodia. Get the Bakosuba. Ekrada Bakosuba. Gara Bakodibaya. Alibokodia. Oh, Robo Kodobaha. Oh, Barabakadia. Arabokodia. I see a book. Somebody is trying to change something to be able to take what is yours. But the Lord said, I have arrested that situation. I have arrested that situation. I have arrested that situation. Glory be to God Almighty. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. I pray for everyone on the prayer altar this morning. Anyone that wants to take whatever is yours, we decree this morning that the Lord Almighty will arise for you. 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 For you. Somebody within the next three days, the Lord Almighty to show forth concerning an issue in your life now. Within three days, the Lord God Almighty will show up concerning an issue in your life. Within three days, I repeat it again, within three days, the Lord will show up concerning an issue in your life. Thank you, Father. You are thinking, what is the way out? God said, I will send people to you. I will send men to you. They will just be telling you this way. This is the way. God will come in form of people he will send to you. God is sending people to somebody else. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. There is somebody here, you have been having a headache. Even till now, you're having those headaches. Once you finish the meeting, go and pour water on your head. The headache will disappear. The headache will be gone. And it is gone forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. You will see what will happen. You will see the testimony that will come from, from this prayer meeting. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget the August outreach in Lagos. Be praying for the meeting. And I want you to plan as you are blessed. As God help you, because of all the people you'll be reaching out to and so many things, I want you to send your financial seed. And as you do so toward that, tie any aspect of strong need in your life to it. And believe God that you will receive victory even as you are being used by God to carry on his work. God bless you all. Have a wonderful time. We'll meet again tomorrow morning. And I believe we will be having a lot of testimonies for the prayer of that tomorrow to be shared. In Jesus' name.